Yo, what's up, boys? Today we are doing Yellow Stadium Bonanza. This one is the regular Bonanza where Copra is banned. However, I promised I would make a video on this. This is like the most popular arena. Even in the free-to-play arenas right here, like Bonanza, which is pay-to-play, is still the most popular, which is crazy. Um, I'm not a big fan of it for a few reasons, but I'm gonna get into that in a bit. Before we get into the video, though, comment of the day does go to this guy, so major shout-out to you. Also, go down button that smash like let's see if we can hit four likes on today's video make it happen boys and subscribe as well if you haven't already but let's just get right into it alrighty boys so this time we're on balloon circles what you want to do is you want to go big balloon beat down and then we need to go deactivated abilities and here honestly just go like a random moab boost it doesn't really matter but we're going to go this this and super i actually have to be quick here skip that and we got ace unlucky but this is the meta strategy. You want to go glue, ice, super. And then the fourth tower is just pure RNG. I had to be a bit quick with my powers. But basically, what we're going is we're going big bloom beat down because it's OP. Okay, so we got a wizard. That might be good for us unless he's going this as well. I'm just going to start down with the ace. Or do I go with the super? I'll just go with the super, whatever. So basically, our powers. We have got power lock. Uh, or sorry, ability lock, my bad, ability lock. The reason ability lock is so OP is because once you go late game and you said, we don't want to use this for like 80 rounds, but like as soon as you go late game and he no longer has the ability to uh, go ahead and like slow anything down, right? That's when we use it because he's probably going to use ice or ninja depending. I don't know. He's probably, he's definitely going super for sure. But whatever he uses, it doesn't really matter as long as we have uh this power right here because then we can uh, end his freeze or his slowdown or whatever and then the cmgs will actually be more dangerous which will force him to boost or it'll kill him either way we're still gonna be happy but yeah most of this game is honestly just echoing and building temples uh the thing is though it doesn't really require skill this is the meta strategy like the best thing i can do in order to try and win is to give myself the best odds. What I could have also done in the very beginning would be go for the towers real quick and go for my fourth. And if I get a bad fourth, I skip the map, if that makes sense. So that that's a plan at least. That's what some people like to do. Personally, I don't know. I don't play Bonanza enough, but if you wanna win, that's definitely what you're gonna go for. But you don't play Bonanza for wins, you play Bonanza for fun. The thing is, though, you can still play for fun and give yourself the best odds. So what we're going to do in a bit is, like, first of all, I want to place down all the super monkeys, like, where they're supposed to go. And we can fit 13 temples down. Like, uh, 13 temples is possible. We just have to place them correctly. Uh, but it is a little bit tricky. I don't know what tower this guy has besides wizard. He probably has super... If he has like Ice Ninja or Ninja Glue or something, then we will definitely win. But the thing is, his Wizard is actually a better sacrifice for the Super Monkey than my Aces. So yeah, that, that's not too great for me. However, let's go for this right here. And it seems like we are defending just fine. Again, I can always just go for an Ice if needed. Like, we're, we're really not that much in trouble. We're chilling. Uh, what I can, can I go for an ace in the middle? Nah. I can go for one here, though. There we go. Yeah, that should be fine. It'll go around the circles and everything. Actually, what if I just place it to the circle path? Will we be good? Seems like... Actually, it's kind of going with the grain, which I'm not a fan of, but it's okay. Whatever, it's fine. It would have been better on the left side, but it doesn't it doesn't matter because right now all we gotta do is go for eco. And then of course we have to not die. Okay, so he goes for an ice, so he has wizard ice. We know he has two more towers. He definitely has a super, but what uh, what else does he have? He doesn't go farm, which is good. You don't want to go farm in uh in, in Bonanza. Like some people like to go farm, it's just not worth it. Because, like, you're going to get more than enough money from all the eco. Like, look, we're only 3 minutes and 40 seconds in. I've already got almost 3k eco. Like, you're going to be fine, no matter what. But, yeah. This game mode is basically just going to be most just ecoing. So, I'm just going to be ecoing for, I don't know. Let's skip to round 23. Alrighty, it's round 24, but I just spend so much time placing down all these supers. 
I hope I placed them correctly. This is like how you're supposed to do it. Uh, we got 13 down, so we got a one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wait, thirteen. Wait, where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, got the last one up here, and hopefully it doesn't consume this one. Although it might, which I'm a little nervous about. Let me see if I place this a bit more over here. And then place this a tiny bit further over here. Not as gonna consume it. Uh, well, we'll just hope that it doesn't consume it and then we'll just try it like this. This is kind of like the only thing we can really do. Cause like this one is supposed to not consume that one. And this one is supposed to not consume that one. Maybe I place this a little further up. Like so. Eh, whatever. We'll just hope. And if we get 12 down, then we get 12 down. It's fine. But as you can see, he has Ice Super Wizard. I don't know what his third is. If he has another stall, it'll be a little tricky. But we'll see. The thing is, he's not really placing them all optimally. So we are guaranteed at least 12 temples. But we're going to try and go for 13. Thing is, I'm scared of some, or uh, may, maybe some of them will consume the others, which would not be great. However, that's just that's just a risk we're gonna have to take. Oh well, we could try and go for like I think this one up here is the one I'm most questionable about. So what you want to do is you want 30k of each defense worth, right here. Just to get the most powerful temple. So here we're going to go for three of these as well. There we go. And then we go for this. Do we consume it? We do. Unfortunate. Well, we're going to get 12 down. It's not really worth. But you can go for 13 if you're really, really sweaty on this map. But yeah. I don't know how many this guy's going to get down. He's probably going to get like 11 or 12 maybe. Uh, so... Yeah, we'll see. Also, the best thing is actually to target the temples on close. I don't know if you knew that, but it is. Uh, you want them on close, and then you want to get down like a bunch of just uh, two, uh, two, four supers later on for abilities, just all around the map, really. Um, anyway, now that we've placed all these down, we kind of have our template for all the super monkeys uh, where we want them. Just don't have them within range of each other because then they'll consume. Uh, but yeah, this right here should be fine. I'm gonna take this one up here at the top and just place it a bit more up here, I think. Yeah, like so. Should be fine. Uh, but yeah, now we're just gonna go back to ecoing. And we'll probably see if we can go for like 20,000 eco or some, something like that. Then we'll go for more temples. He's not gonna rush me. I'm not gonna rush him yet. I do want to find out what his third tower is though. Because so far he only uses... I don't even know. I don't. I didn't even see him make his first temple. I don't know what he sacrificed it with. So I'm. I'm kind of. Kind of confused. But we'll see. We'll get to see it eventually. Anyway, I actually just saw him sacrifice. He only sacrificed one Tech Terra and one, uh, four or four zero um, Ice Tower. So he only sacrificed one of them. So he's kind of making his temples wrong. I also think. Wait. Can, did he mess up here? Can he place a temple up there? He, he might have messed up. I'm not sure. But, okay, see? Now he's getting on one of those. And a cannon! Bro's got cannon. No way. Okay, we'll for sure win this. I don't know why he decided to go wizard. I think his cannon is probably his fourth. But he went ice super wizard. Wizard is not good. It does add a little bit of sacrifice value. If you use it properly... But this guy isn't. He's not sacrificing his temples uh, correctly. So he's not getting as strong as temple as he possibly could have. But wizard, bro? Come on. Like, you gotta you gotta know that a ninja or a glue or something will be able to slow it down more. By the way, those of you wondering, the glue gunner right here, if I place up a glue, the glue hose, I'm just gonna put that on strong, slows down Moab class balloons by 40%. And the ninja slows it down by 50%, right? So you might wonder, why am I going glue instead of ninja? The reason why is because the glue is a better sacrifice. So people have done math about this. 
it actually makes the glue better if you sacrifice it to the temple. It'll make the temple stronger. So the temples will be so strong that they will actually make up for those 10%. Which is pretty interesting in my opinion. But of course this requires that you actually sacrifice everything properly. Which you have to do. So uh, yeah, I don't know. This guy's temples aren't going to be that strong. But we'll just see one when we take it late. Alright, here we go. I got up a few more temples. The one thing that I do really quickly want is to get the temples at the beginning of the map up quickly. Because... We actually want to, let me get this up and get a temple going. Nice. What we want to do up here is we actually quickly want to focus on getting as many as these up as we can at the very beginning of the map. The reason we're doing this now is because later on we will barely be able to see anything up here, which means we'll be able to place less. I can still see everything else going on around the map, but I can't see very much up at the very top. So that is why... We're placing these now. Uh, the, so these CMGs aren't that strong yet, so I don't care to slow it down. Although we easily could. Now, once I don't have any more space up here, what I like to do is just place down some ice towers. Uh, because these need to be placed down somewhere. At least. So, uh, I think... Did I just find a spot? Eh, I don't know. Maybe. Whatever, though. We can't really see too much right now. Let's go ahead and just slow that down real quick. Slow it down once again. Maybe I should have used a few of these abilities, but whatever. What we're going to do now is we're going to continue to just place these up at the very top. And I'm going to get a single glue down. There we go. Just because that'll help with everything. Now, we can't place anything here, so I quickly got to get up one more temple over here. So we are just going to do that real quick. Bam, and please allow, wait, no, not like that. Like this, cool. All right, now we just gotta upgrade this one. And as you can see, we're almost all out of money. But even though I haven't even ecoed that much this round, um, overall, we're still doing really, really well, uh, just eco-wise. Like, I've, I've kind of just been chilling. I could have definitely had way more eco, but you're gonna have more than enough money. And this is, again, another reason why you don't need to farm. It's just... It's just useless. Like, you really don't need to farm. If you get it as a fourth, that's fine. You don't have to eco the entire game. But if not, honestly, eco is just way more worth it. All right, so let's see. Are we good here? I think so, yeah. All right, we're quickly going to get these last couple ones up. Can I fit one here? Nah. Unlucky. However, these two cost a lot of money. Like, we're spending, like... Almost 40k, like 35, 40k on these per per one, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, we're just going to go back to eco. Now we have all of this, so now we can get the last couple temples down uh, just whenever, really. We don't have to stress too much about it. All right, as you can see, like right now, we can barely see anything at the very top of the map, which is actually crazy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm quickly going to go ahead and... Let me see. Wait, do I have multiple? No, I have one glue gunner there. I'm going to quickly go ahead and put down three glues here. Then go for like three of these. Just over here, I guess. And as soon as this is popped, I am going to go for my last one. So I think this should all be within range. Yes. Nice. And then we go for that. Cool upgrade. And oh, do I still have a glue gunner up here somewhere? Or is that the supers doing damage? I don't even know. Uh, what I'm thinking, though, is that we're probably just going to have, like, a glue up at the very top of the map. And now that I have a million, give or take, in cash, uh, we are going to go ahead and just upgrade the remaining of our temples. So I'm just quickly going to get all these sacrifices up. The sacrifices are really important. Like, definitely, definitely do those right. Because you're going to be doing so much more damage. Like, it's actually crazy. And here, this is just where people enjoy going late game and have fun. Um, but yeah, we'll probably end up winning, mo most likely. I think. Just because, like, look how much uh, quicker we're doing damage. We're killing these off way quicker. And we don't even have, like, the entire map uh, finished yet. Let's see. Let's go ahead and place these down. 
as soon as I have like roughly the same amount of defense he has, you'll be able to see like a huge difference in uh, in our hits. Let's go for these and a super down here. All right, very important. You don't accidentally upgrade the range on one of these. That would be very very unfortunate. All right, let's go for that, and then we'll just go for three of these, and that should pretty much be that. Now we have 12 temples up. I think we might want to go for... I might want to go for like... Actually, where do I want this? Let, let's go for one here. And then I need some more glues just like all around. I think we would only need like two, maybe three glues in total. So yeah, I'm not even going to worry about more glues right now. Right now what we want to worry about, or well not worry about, but focus on... Rather, it's just getting these down. We still need to place our ice as well. And we're going to need roughly like 12 ice or so placed down uh, to just slow even more. But here we go. We have all the temples that we need. And now we are also just placing down as many of these as we can. Which is sweet. All right, here we go. I can't really see too much, it's kind of annoying. But at least I'm not putting these up at the very top where I can see absolutely nothing. So I can I can still see a little bit, but it is slightly tricky to place these. And now I'm out of money. Now, now I'm completely just dead broke. Again, and we, are even, we even have 30k plus eco, which is wild. But yeah, now it's just placing down like the rest of these uh, wherever we can. And as you can see, already now... We don't even have the map filled with defense yet, but already now we're like killing these off so much quicker. So yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and get up a few ice up here. I saw a spot right here where I could place them. Nice, like right there. That's one. Right underneath, that's two. Could I place one more here? Oh, I can, that's three. Let me see, what if I sell that? I know I can place at least like another three right here. Maybe I'd want to get a glue down here instead of another ice. Yeah. Let's go for let's go for glue here, just have that on strong as well. To make sure it kinda takes care of everything. And then we wanna fill the bottom of the map here. But yeah, we're just gonna continue to fill these up until we got enough. I was just in the middle of like uh, placing down towers and he's already rushing me dude this guy is already focused on rushing me I mean I can just slow that down and just use a bunch of these abilities and I'm good like this right here you're just rushing too early like I don't know why he's rushing yet the thing is we still have our powers to use which they're also just gonna be pretty OP but as you can see we've kind of placed down a bunch of ice all around where we have the space for it so that is that is that is really just what you want to do here. Oh, let me sell that. Go for that there. I want this like right on top, and I should be able to hopefully place down like one more. It's kind of annoying that he's rushing because I'm trying to fit these. I, I, bro, I'm just gonna face palm you. Like, I can't see any. I'm, I'm trying to place here. I'm going to have to use another tower. Okay, here's the space. Get a feel for where it is. Maybe I just can't place the super. That's also an option. Maybe I just don't have the space for this. But it's kind of annoying the way he's rushing. Because I can't see anything. So I'm not even bothered by the rush. I'm, I'm not scared of dying to it. I just can't see. Which, which is really, really the annoying part. So right now he's kind of wasting all his eco and all his money as well. He's not going to get anything out of this. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to let him try. I, I don't know why he continues. That That's the thing that, that I'm like most curious about. Like, why do you continue to rush right now? What do you get out of it? I'm, I'm not going to die to that. It's not even getting close. I just slow it down and I'm good. By the way, here's what you want to do with the temples. Place them all too close. So I'm gonna find just all the temples. Just if you don't know where they are, like you some you some you know a little bit of like where they could be. So yeah, that, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just finding them. 
Oh, there's one there. Oh, there's one I didn't upgrade fully. Do not. Oh, yeah, I don't have one up there. I got one there. And I have one in the middle here, too. And I got this one. I think that might just be... Yeah, that might just be it for our temples. He still he still continues to just rush all out right now, which is dumb because I have like infinite peers. Uh, first of all, like we we're not we're not gonna leak to all of this. Pretty much. Um, oh, maybe what I could do here is go for like a blue towards the bottom of the map. I think how many blues do I have? Do I got like one over here somewhere. I don't even know. He just disconnected. Oh, I think he I think he genuinely just rage quit. I think he just spent all his money on rushing me. And now he just rage quit. And we haven't even gotten to use our powers or anything yet. Oh my god, this guy is so mad. Bro, this is actually way too funny. Alright, so normally it doesn't end like this. I think normally people go a little bit later. I yeah, this guy he didn't disconnect. He rage quit. That's a full out rage quit. <laughs> Bro, he's so mad, dude. He is so mad. Yeah, see, he even has plenty of medallions, so it's not that. But he just spent all his money on rushing me. And he got absolutely nowhere. <laughs> Bro, that's unfortunate. But you guys still get the point of everything I showed in this video. Uh, everything you want to do. How you want to do it. How you want to play correctly. Uh, all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.